and then there's this call, this call for South South and South East uh, to develop Calabar because it was a former FTT. Why he rush down to Lagos? Why not develop Calabar? Because it's also a former FTT. Let's get a reaction. And if you look at the leadership of the country, people that are in charge of Nigeria that say that Nigeria is their own. Their forefathers' estate. They are the one that you go and develop Calabar, develop Portacot and Calabar. You know what I'm saying? If Igbo man embark on development of Calabar, are they going to allow it to be Nigerian capital or those uh, facilities fixed or put that place to work to be operational? The port, the seaport, the seaport in Calabar is it operational? The seaport is it a federal government that will approve the seaport to operate? Uh, even if Igbo man develop the deep sea we have in Calabar, Cross River State, and make it up to world standard, is federal government of Nigeria going to approve it? Why are we sometimes, we, we, we are on social media and we don't make sense sometimes? Southeast, South South, if they develop a tackle, put it in order, I mean the seaport there, is government under Flani or Yoruba going to approve it? Uh, if, if you know they are going to approve it, what is stopping Tinubu from approving Kaba Seaport and Doné? This is a good question. We should know that the problem of Nigeria are the people in charge, the people in the leadership, which has excluded the South South, Southeast. Yes. Excluded. Our guy, we are excluded. Only Jonathan touched there by the what? Stroke of luck. A stroke of luck brought le leadership of what? Good luck, Jonathan. Could be that death did not come. Yet I do finish his eight years if I come to Yoruba land. He can't go back to South South again. He can't go to South East. It is Yoruba Hausa. Okay, let me chuck it. From 1999 till date, who dominated the political leadership of this country? Is it not the two persons that I just mentioned now? Why are we just behaving as if we don't have sense? Even if a man develop Calabar seaport, develop Uyo seaport, develop Orne, Potako seaport, and make it to be standard of that of Hong Kong, that of Holland, the biggest seaport in the world. Oga is planning hegemony in conjunction or collaboration with Yoruba, allow it to operate. You want this seaport to operate so that our papa will not operate. Tinubu will not make his money again. Eh? What are you saying? You people are looking for trouble. Now trouble now they look for. So that South South and South is the joint forces together. Then they go develop on there. Oh my trouble go gas. I'm gonna look at Aguleri, Mueri, International Airport, Cargo Airport. Is it working? Is it operational? How many of them are operational in the southern Nigeria? In the southeast and south south. What are you seeking for again? When they have pocketed the country, excluded you in the center, cheering the national cake, telling you that you are, you are not competent to rule Nigeria. Look at their competence. Bad government and bad governance. Ensa's hunger has come to indicate that they have failed woefully. Administratively wise, they have failed. And yet, they are talking about administration and education. Okay? People that are clueless, that can never deliver on the basis of leadership, are what? Uneducated. When you see the truth, you always touch the truth around. Oga, Mr. Aru Truth, Raf is my name. Aru Truth is telling you that after developing the Calabar Deep Ocean, Deep Sea, into modern seaports, Oga, a papa, the Lagos boys, yes, the cabal that are benefiting from a papa will not allow on a Calabar Uyo seaport to operate. It is only a papa. They will sabotage it. Oh, God, sabotage it because container Ibo man is clearing here is too much. Ibo man is going around the containers here. Okay, when those customs so lose, lose their job. Oh, no, okay, you know when Shurubu to collect money again? Okay, you want Lagos to collapse? Ibo man should go. When Ibo man go and face on there, tell me who will remain in Lagos. If Ibo man go, as Ibo must go, and face with your seaport on there, and Calabar seaport, Tell me how Lagos will stay. What thing will remain of Lagos again? Is it not ordinary skeleton? When people are talking, they don't study deep. I've always I, I've been accusing Nigerian political leaders of what? 
history blindness that don't have what it takes to rule. Before you become a politician, you must be good on history so that you know where you are coming from, so that you know your shortcomings. When they are talking about Igbo must go, if Igbo go, how is Apapa going to stay? Apapa see for Tunko, because if Igbo man go, Chief will be coming to River Niger. Chief will be coming to Calabar. One, Uyo, and so on and so forth. Lagos will be sick. Oga Lagos will turn to skeleton. Now we talk Oga, now we own the economy. Misinterpretation is that they will tell Igbo man say he's the owner of Lagos. When and how? Okay, everybody own Lagos. Everybody, all hands are on the table. We are developing Lagos till tomorrow. And that development is going to be a divided development. What, I, what do I mean? Divisively, Uyo will work. Uyo seaport. Calabar seaport will work. Onel will work. Wari is supposed to have their own seaport. Okay, that is when the development will circulate around the country, across Nigeria. They don't have only one seaport in a country like Nigeria. What is wrong with us? Okay, let's talk about the president. Uh, within a year, he has acquired the art presidential jet, and also he has uh, escalated almost a billion naira. He's going to France today. And let's get a reaction. Nigeria is a topic. Uh, my question is uh, escalate is, does it cost one billion? Almost. Almost right, escalate and uh, with fleet of uh, latest one with fleet of airplane. Abi, thank you. Aircraft that's very good. That is what Nigerians bargain because no Nigerian man currently, I'm using parabola, is needed good things, good things in their life. Escape Nigeria. Nigeria is a place where truth has been forgotten. Nobody is talking about transparency and public accountability because we are crooked Nigerians. Nigerians is where honest men, honest men, men of integrity have been what? Alienated. Living in seclusion. Living in isolation if you are an honest man. If there are honest men in this administration, Escalate that cost one billion couldn't have even what been bought. If we have honest politicians in Nigeria, honest men in this administration, what is Nigeria doing with three presidential jets when we cannot afford a bag of gari and beans? Bags of beans, gari is on the cloud. We can't access it. It's higher than anybody in Nigeria. Forget what we are doing. What we are witnessing in this era is suffering and smiling both supporters of apc suffering and smiling the people that are promoting an illegal illegit, illegit, illegitimate illegitimate regime suffering and smiling if they pay them all but they, they pretend like say no they pay them okay how could i be buying meat eating meat when i don't have teeth to chew meat i come again with parable this is a parable Parable, parabolic expression. How could we be giving meat to a toothless man, an old man of 100 years? Where is the, where are the teeth? Where is the tooth? Someone whose dentitions, all manner of dentitions in his mouth, jaw, has grown weak and frail. What are you doing with beef? Even talking, he could not chew. You know why? Ha, I, let me explain. Okay, all these uh, escalates, uh, uh, three presidential jets, yacht for an old man like Tinubu that has tired. Okay, Tinubu is tired. Tinubu should get away from that place. I'm telling you the truth. All this way in the doing no fit down. People they laugh at him. Okay, it is that the whole world is mocking Nigeria. Naim, they receive the mock. That man should get away from that place, I mean, honestly. So what can Nigerians do now? Nigerians should, should wait for him come 2027. There's nothing you can do him. If you say investigation, investigation has been done. Oil theft, then go test uh, stagnation, then go test uh, refinery. 
all hands are pointed at him. We don't need to hide the truth. So because of the economic hardship, all hands pointing at him. What do you expect Nigeria to do? When you have the police and soldiers welding AK-47 at everybody. Okay, there's nothing Nigerians can do. Nigeria should wait for 2027. Let's talk about Edo State. Edo State election is coming. AP it's coming and APC has been bragging and bragging because they have a master rigger as their boss. Master rigger is Tinubu. The second rigger is Adam Ochobole from the so-called Edo State. So the reason why APC has been jumping up and down is that the master rigger, Mahmoud, the umpire chairman, Einek, is there waiting to do the needful. He's jogging, 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 jogging and wait to deliver, right? Rigging. See, all their footsteps, all their body languages is that they are going to rig Edo. But sorry, I have my message for you. Edo State no be southwestern Nigeria. Edo is quite different. Edo State na former Bendelo with Delta joined together. When I feel go rig anywhere in Imo State, when I don't feel doing for where Bini men they, please APC, 414 arm. I'm an analyst on social media, but I'm just trying to what disseminate my information. My message to you, APC Juggernauts. It is not always sweet like Chugao. Sometimes it will be like Vitacola. Learn from Alessoti, Nenoti, what happened in Abia States. Learn from what happened when Godwin Obaseki came in. Learn. You must learn from history. Oga, Edo, no be Lagos. Edo is not an easy place to read. APC, Edo, no be Lagos. Edo is not an easy place to rig election. Oga, APC governor and the, his deputy, when just they recover from hospital. The age, the police age, I think when I see waiting don't happen. I they use common language. Let, let nobody talk say, Rafael Mbechi, they speak too much English. When I don't see waiting happen, from airport to Binio, you should learn from the past. Okay. Check those who are ditching out this statement. They are not relevant. Those who are ditching out this statement, they are not relevant. Is that what we are talking about now? That they should go and develop Calabar. How did they know that Calabar is not developing? You can see some houses everywhere here. Beautiful, beautiful houses. But we are not living where. We are not heading. Lagos. Are you aware? But if you go to Calabar, the environment is low. Go and check them. They are heading. They are living heading. They eat fresh fish. So Calabar is more developed than Lagos. You, you, don't, you, don't, you didn't get me. Those who are saying that they are not relevant in Lagos. They don't know what is going on. It's not to just see beautiful, beautiful houses. Are we heading in Lagos? But go to Calabar. They don't have beautiful houses like Lagos. But they are looking heady. That's the question. They are looking, look at Fabio. Take for example, look at Fabio. And look at your president. Look at Tulupu. Look at Benjamin Ala, what's the name? And then you check Fabio himself. As you don't see him. So that is it. Not to say, why go and develop Calabar. It's not development. You want to do wedding, you come to Lagos. You want to do, most governors give their states. Everybody is now focused on Lagos. Why you not see, develop? The reason is that, uh, as a capital, before. Former capital. Former capital before. People have invested here. That is it. People have invest a lot here. So they expect them to leave their investment. The only thing is that what I'm saying is you can stay anywhere you are in Nigeria. Those who are making entrances, they are irrelevant in the states. Everybody come here. Okay, the president with his new presidential guest is, uh, I, I believe he's been in France now with the new presidential guest. Within one year, we have a yacht for the president, we have a presidential guest for the president, and an escalate, almost a billion naira. Our president don't have my own. Tunibu is a failure. He has paid in every round education. He has paid. 
He has failed woefully. No policy he brings. December now, we almost approach two years. After two years now, campaign. Up what he promised. School feeding, zero. Electricity, zero. Transportation, zero. Education, zero. Roads, zero. Medical, zero. See, guys, speech, zero. He only a massive wet to sustain his family and himself. And don't forget, the pro wife promised us that they are not going to steal Nigerian money. But today, buying jets. In fact, it's a disgrace. It's a shame. Chinese firm went and see three jets. He has rushed to Niger uh, France now to go and beg them again. Maybe I beg them for many want to come. Because I just, I just imagine. A country like us, not even Togo, not even Benin, not even Ghana. Chinese look at us and seize our three jets. Do you think if a passenger was a throw, they would do that? Uh Buhari was a throw, they would do that. Unubu has failed. And there's nothing that just can do now. What are we going to do? Nothing. Nigeria are not a treasure of people anymore. Everybody just, you are, you are your own. You are your own now. So, you are your own. Because things are not okay. So, he just on his own. That's why he see me traveling every minute. From Guinea to France. Maybe when he come back for France now, he will go to... It, all what he promised, border open, the importation of food, nothing, no one has taken place. And I don't think it's a process. I don't think it's there. He's not the one there. He's not the one. There. You only see him. He's not ditching our statement. You see, the man just he has frustrated this country. So please, God should just uh, do something for us so that this country will not be a zero point. He has now about to be a zero point. Updates about Edo election. Yes, Edo election. Uh, I think uh, for me, and as Edo lights, we no go area. APC is a disaster. APC is a waste. APC is a virus. So anybody even measuring APC in Edo state is not Edo lights. It's a, it's a new format, it's a JJC. So APC is the worst. I prefer labor of PDP. If you measure APC in my state, I don't state, you are a waste. No, but uh, Oshobala is doing campaign. Oshobala, I mean, they have told him, I don't people have told Oshobala, you should go and sit down. You have nothing to offer. You should go and join people who, who you voted for. I don't cannot even close the eye to see APC flag. APC is a virus. Antichrist. Monument of failure. Under Tulubu. Tulubu has failed this country. What? In everything. So, we don't need the APC. APC is Antichrist. Anywhere they go, they, they, they pour poverty, hatred, killing, tribalism in that state. So, we don't need them in our state. You can see every state. Kaduna is not rest. Plateau, okay, Plateau is a PDP. You can see Yobe is not rest. They are begging. Anywhere PC go, they become a beggar. All of River State. River State, you know, it's PDP. They are, we can, uh, we can, I, when do you see Wiki in River State again? So, Lagos State are just struggling. Where yeah, APC eat are struggling. Oguste is the worst. You can see Oguste is how Chinese are disgracing them. No road in, in Oguste. No road in Oguste. Everybody now, over there, over there. Look at, imagine. Chinese bought a land. And Lagos, uh, Oguste collected their share. Omonile collected their share. Bale collected their share. They couldn't release the land to the Chinese people. Chinese went to France and... Mm, I'm a, the president and everybody there. Now they are trying to They are running up and down how to collect the plane. 
I think our president have gone there. Maybe you go and kneel down for France to beg the Chinese friend. That is number one. Another one will come again. Chinese just everybody here. Alele. Just take over everywhere because all the money we have borrowed is a disgrace to this country. All that is government. Don't so, just let me see. Or that even PDP also. No. When PDP was there, we have you had this kind of thing that uh, 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 Chinese people since about three jets. Have you had it? So, have you had it? Uh -huh. So have you had it that uh, extent low that we can eat in the day? Have you had it before? That extent that uh, don't, don't ever measure a PC in the door state. Don't try it or you die. And if, and if that, it's a PC is a virus. It's antichrist. It's a poor. You know when they say poor, they are poor. So don't bring it to my state. In the door state, we don't need it. That means you tell Osama like that. Osama, leave Osama. But by the time the election start, Osama will stay inside the house. Won't come out. The only has one vote. Vote and go to your house, and I'll allow the boys to take up everywhere. We don't need it. It's old. You should go and stay in Abuja with your papa. Okay. Thank you very much. I don't know the Lagos. I don't know the Lagos. Thank you.